Hi, Hans Lemerson here, and I'm here to show off an amazing creation of mine. A seven segment display right here. Uh, not that one. That one was a larger version with three dots per segment. Uh, I decided to make a smaller one, and after I made it, I realized that that was pointless because the wiring is much bigger than the display. You can see it going off to the side there. However, only the smaller one is actually wired up, so that's what will be used for this demonstration. Ignore this one. 11 isn't a valid number for a 7 seg display. So, I have a 7 segment display here, and it's hooked up to a 4-bit decoder. So these are the four inputs, which will uh, uh, be a binary number, which then gets transferred, uh, which then, then gets converted into something that can be displayed. Currently, it's a zero, because all the torches are off. That's binary for zero. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And then after nine comes the number A. That's right, because I made this display do hexadecimal, because decimal is kind of wasteful in binary. You have, you can go all the way up to fif from 0 to 15, and so why stop at 9? So after it, A is the, uh, is equivalent to 10 in decimal. Then after A, comes, you guessed it, B, equivalent to 11. C, <coughs> that's like 12. D, like 13. E, that's equivalent to 14. And then, lastly, F, equivalent to 15 in decimal. But it's the biggest single digit in hexadecimal. Hexadecimal is really very convenient to use when, when going from binary to uh, more complex digits because it, well, it's a direct conversion. You just do four bits and it goes to hex. It's rather more complicated and involved to do something in pure decimal. It's, it's really bad. So, uh, you might be wondering, how do four bits control seven little light segments? The answer is in this massive construct here. Yeah, that's my decoder. Uh, each one of those, each row here represents one digit. It represents one number. Currently, since it's displaying F, you see that this line of redstone is off and these torches are on. Those torches then activate the wire down here, which corresponds to the segments on the display that make an F. And that's basically how it works. Yeah. Pretty cool. It only took four hours to build and debug. But I do this because I'm dedicated to the pursuit of computer science. Or, or obsessive. You be the judge.